Howdy folks, this is the FMS Extra 300 provided by Gearbest for the review. This is a 1.3 metre 3D foamy. I've never flown 3D planes before, but I've always been interested, so this will be interesting. So as you can see, the plane's very nicely packed in a solid polystyrene box. Here are all the pieces in the kit, and it's, it's so big, it's an enormous plane. Nice big fuselage with good uh, access via big hatches top and bottom. Uh, proper hinges on the rudder which have to be glued in. That's the only piece of gluing that you have to do. Uh, good landing gear, uh, spars for the wing and the horizontal stabiliser. This weird um, three-part uh, prop set up that you have to sort of screw together. Um, why they don't just use a normal three-bladed prop, I'm not too sure. Uh, excellent manuals, that's the ESC manual. I haven't got the other manual with me at the moment, but uh, it's well worth reading the, the actual manual. It's a very, very good manual, very well illustrated, but it has some um, very, very funny phrases, like uh, uh, warning you not to lick any part of the plane for some reason. And, and it all just bolts together very, very easily, apparently. So let's do it. Okay, so the first step is to slot the landing gear in underneath, and that just pushes into that plastic slot and there's a little plastic cover that screws in over the top. And now it's time to glue the uh, rudder hinges in and I used a little bit of epoxy on each of those uh, pre-cut slots and on the uh, plastic hinges themselves. Just being careful to keep it away from the actual hinge line itself so you don't um, glue up the hinge. And the little, um, the little tail wheel connected to the rudder has to slot into a little plastic hole as well. You can see that down the bottom there and a couple of screws just get tightened up to secure that in there. I had to cut away a little bit of the preformed hinge that, that must have been there when the model was built because that was fouling a little bit. So these are the little fillets that fill in between the ailerons and the fuselage. Now fitting the wing in, wings just slot in big spar goes in between the wings. Just have to make sure the servo leads uh, run in cleanly. Push it together. There's a little pretend exhaust stack if you want to leave it on. I didn't chose not to put that on. Big long bolts to secure the wings in. Bit of help from the driver. I wouldn't drive it all the way down using this, I'd snug it up using a screwdriver for the last little bit, like that. Now I've got the fillets around the right way, I actually had to pull them out and glue them back in again. Time for the horizontal stabiliser now, pretty much the same as the wing, there's a spar that goes into one side, slotted into the fuselage, slotting the other side and the two elevator halves click together in the middle couple of screws to secure that in. Don't want to over tighten them. Nice big sturdy push rods and these sort of uh, plastic clip retainers. I like this system for connecting. It's very secure and easy to undo as well. And they even provide nice little safety bands as well. And a little grub screw adjuster on the servo arm. These are nice big Metal Gear 17 gram servos, I think they are. Quite substantial anyway. Control horns onto the ailerons. They are, they're okay, they may be a little bit light, but they've got a good wide base on them. One of the aileron servo mounts uh, wasn't glued in properly, so I had to add a bit of hot glue to get that one to be nice and secure. Uh, here we're yeah, having trouble getting that arm on again, and there's no corresponding grooves cut in the in the arm so I actually had to sort of carve it out a little bit with a knife so it would just friction fit on then it was quite secure. Aileron push rods connected checking all the throws love wiggling things. Now assembling the three bladed prop and got to make sure the numbers go to the front as usual I'll speed this up There we go, all together. 
and the nose cone just screws on to secure it onto the motor. It was actually quite reasonably balanced too. I haven't had to do any balancing at all. Ready to give it a run up now. Connecting up a six channel receiver, ailerons into separate channels is the way I like to go. Get the throws all around the right way. I've got way too much throws at the moment, so I have to dial them down for the maiden. That's with uh, everything on the outer holes. Big motor, 3948, 760 kV, and uh, a monster 60 amp ESC. So time to give it a run up. A bit scary. I get up to about 45 amps, and it's pulling like crazy. This is by far the biggest and most powerful plane I have had. So we're ready for the maiden, just waiting for a bit of decent weather, a bit of time, and we'll get onto it. It's a very nice looking model, very, very sturdy, big. Looks like it has heaps of lift and heaps of power. So this will be fun. Thanks for watching.